Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Terry. Today I am going to do a what sold video on some of the things that have sold in the past week or so. So my first item are these two books and they are X-File books. They, the back of them looks like this. You can hardly see the front because I have them wrapped up. But I purchased these around two years ago with a whole bunch of other X-File books and magazines. I think I may have sold a few early on, but then they've just been sitting there. And then in the last week or so, I've sold three different lots to three different people. I'm not sure why, but I'm glad to see them go out. So these two I lotted together and they sold for $14. And this other lot I shipped out already and it sold for $28. And each one of these lots, I have less than a dollar into each one. I am just going to call it a dollar for the sake of my totals at the end of this video. And then this last lot sold for $20. I have had this for a while, but I just listed it. This is the Polonaise Collection Christmas Ornament. So this one is an angel. She's in excellent condition. She still has her tag on it, although I did list it as used. I paid $3 for this and it sold for $45. This is J.B. Phillips in New Testament. I paid $2 for it and it sold for $15. This is not one of the models that I just purchased from my friend. I purchased this a couple years ago with a whole bunch of others. I paid $15 for this one and this one sold for $59. This is a die cast model. They really sell well. I paid $2 for this MacArthur Study Bible and it just sold for $20. I picked up quite a few booklets from an estate sale. This was one of them that was in there. I pretty much paid about 50 cents for this. This one sold for $20. I sold another big little book. This one is not it because I already shipped it out, but I just wanted to show you for reference. I paid $4 for the one I shipped out and it sold for $45. I purchased a huge binder full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I didn't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I sold some of them for a couple hundred dollars each. And then I sold some for 20 or $30. I've had this one listed for a bit. I paid less than a dollar for it and somebody got it on sale for $63.75. So keep your eyes open for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This book is A Child's Garden Verses. It's really cute. It actually has three books inside the hardcover. I paid $2 for this set and it sold for $30. Look at this vintage animated fireplace clock. I was at a garage sale a few weeks ago and saw this, didn't know if it worked or anything and they wanted $30 for it. And I asked if they would take 20 and she did. And I have sold it already for $99. It is really cool because it the light turns on and it looks like there's flames in the fireplace. It's really pretty special. I purchased two sets of these. They were both different architectures that are featured in the books. This is not the one that I sold because I've already shipped it out. I just thought I would show you what they look like. I paid $10 for each set and the one that I shipped out already sold for $48. And they're from 1960. They're called Masters of the World Architecture. Well, I have had this little tiny gold colored purse. It's about this big. It's metal for a really long time and I paid a dollar for it. I thought it was really cool. It was very vintage, but it only sold finally for $10.49. Here is another Yu-Gi-Oh card. I actually picked this up at a different time. So I have $2.65 into this one and this one sold for $17. I already shipped out this Fisher Price 
1970s, I think it is. It's called Main Street, and I did have some little extra pieces in there. I really paid a lot for this. I paid $65 at an estate sale, but I did end up selling it for $149, and it was only listed for about a month. And all of my buyers pay for shipping. I don't do free shipping. So this cost a bit to ship because it was in a really large box. Really glad to see it go out because that just gives me more space on all my shelves. Speaking of my shelves, I have been purging and donating old inventory or things that I had purchased that are just broken or not worth my time to list them. And I have many more other things to list besides. And I always feel like it's easier for me to donate them and write them off. Instead of spending a lot of time fixing them or just the fact that I would put time into photographing them when they're just not worth it. So I definitely do pick up things that I probably shouldn't have picked up or that I didn't realize were broken. I don't typically do it real often, but it does happen. So I had about five medium sized boxes going out today for donation and my shelving is getting all cleaned up and under all these tables and there's another table over there. I still need to work on that some more. I need to consolidate more. So let me know how your back stock is and how you keep it under control. Or do you just have way too much inventory to keep it under control? I want to know. Let me know. I have picked up a few of these. They're not fast sellers because technology is way better than this. But it is like a portable wand where you can scan a paper or a book that you're reading. And I think it just uploads it to your computer. And I paid $2 for this one. It's brand new in package and it sold for $17.49. This brass box that I listed as a trinket box, it's definitely vintage. I have no idea where it's from or how old it is. I picked it up for $5 at an estate sale and it's been sitting in my death pile for a very long time because I didn't know how to list it because I am not real knowledgeable on collectibles like this. But I just went ahead and listed it for $55 and it sold within a month or so. So I will keep trying to pick up more things like this. I have had these men's Clark shoes they're brand new in box. The leather on them are so soft. I thought they were just a really nice pair of shoes. I paid $10 for them and they have just sold for $58.47. This is another thing that I know very little about is jewelry. I picked up about five or six pieces from an estate sale because they were very inexpensive and some of them were 10 karat gold. So I paid $10 for this pendant. It's topaz. It is so pretty. And it sold for $99. So for my last item today, this is actually one of the things that came out of all those models that I picked up from my friend. I would say that there's about 2,000 items or more that I picked up from him. There was close to 1,600 models and then there were a whole bunch of other things in there as well. So I paid $4,000 for the whole lot. So I paid around $2 for each item. So I have $2 into this item. It is a glass router. I think it's used for grinding glass. I just listed this probably about three weeks ago, and it already sold for $75. So I will include all of my models that I have sold since my last video that I did. This is some of them. These are the ones that I need to ship out already. I also have quite a few that I've already shipped out since my last video. I do want to give you an update on how all of those are going. My son did a graph to show exactly how they are selling. So we only have about one third of our items listed. We still need to list the other two thirds. So right now we have 527 listed. We have sold 110. Of the ones that we sold, 
we sold those for $2,575.25. Right now we still have listed $11,853 worth of models and we still need to list the other two thirds. So I'm thinking by the time we're done listing them all, we would have listed them between 30 and 35, maybe even $40,000. So I will keep you updated periodically. I know you don't want me to go through all these models that I'm selling because that could be kind of boring, but it is very exciting to see how quickly they are selling. It is a lot of work. We do have to open every single one of them, look inside, and see whether or not they were ever opened, if all the pieces are in there, if the decals are in there and the manual. So they are time consuming, but it is really, really worth it because it's going really smooth. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Hit that thumbs up if you wanna be notified on my next video. Hit the subscribe button, please. That really helps me out. 